acne, texture skin, and dark spots and or discoloration. Those were my skin issues. What are some problems that you have with your skin? Today I want to share three keys for how I am getting glowing skin. I have to be honest, I still definitely have a little bit of texture and some dark spots. Um, when I was in the military, I got a lot of skin damage um, from being out in the sun, marching and doing all that stuff. Um, and then just also being so stressed. I was in a very stressed environment. So I used to get a lot of acne and I used to get a lot of breakouts. Um, but I'm learning how I'm, I'm learning about my skin and just how to improve it. Um, because at one point I used to be so uncomfortable, um, to even look in the mirror. I just did not feel like myself. I was not confident. I did not like the way I look. I just didn't feel cute because of all the bumps and just random blemishes. It's like, I literally had no control over my face. I did not like that. So I want to share with y'all three keys that helped me get, I want to say glow skin, but again, like I said, I definitely still am healing, but I want to share with y'all three keys that is helping me improve my skin. It's texture, it's tone, and all that good stuff. I want to jump right into it um, because I definitely believe everybody should be comfortable in their own skin. Everybody should be happy and not have to hide. I used to feel like, you know, I would buy like, I don't even really know how to use makeup, but I would buy like, not even wear it right, but I would buy blush and like try to hide different um different blemishes and stuff but i wanted to get to a point to where i was all natural and i was confident to just go out and show my face hey rachel as y'all jump on say hello in the comments so i can say hello back if you're watching the replay say zay i missed you so i can reach out to you and tell you hello and so we can catch up so the first thing i did y'all emotional and mental health is vital it is so essential um it, you know your skin is the biggest organ on your body so your skin is not gonna lie pretty much every everything that you put in your body or you know everything that happens to your body your skin is like the first sign and it's going to tell you hey calvin how you doing it's kind of kind of tell you like how you doing your healthy skin is a sign of um health in general but like i said number one is having mental and emotional health like i feel like that is so so important and it is vital to having healthier skin so how do you get uh mental and emotional health number one clear out your environment i mean whether it's with works work relationships or your home if you're unhappy if things or people um if they make you feel um anxious if they make you feel uneasy if you feel like you're in a toxic environment or, or if like different things make you draining literally get away from it stop it stop doing it get away from it um those are the three areas i break i break that down i'll start with number one work again i was in the military and the i was just was so stressed i was so unhappy um i wasn't able to be myself i was like you know forced to conform and do these things i didn't want to do um i was treated unfairly and um it got me to a point to where i was so stressed and so unhappy i did not want to be there i was so uncomfortable and it was just a terrible, terrible time of my life. Um, so I decided to get out. <laughs> so if you're doing a job that's not that's not healthy for you, I suggest that you get out of that workplace as soon as possible. Find another job, you know, start working on yourself to do what you got to do. But I do not recommend staying in a toxic draining um, environment, like literally when I was working in that in that department, I felt like I was suffocating. I was so mis miserable. So it caused me to stress so much. And um, I would like literally get anxiety and panic attacks going to work. So I do not suggest you to stay in a stressful environment because it showed up on my face. Like that's when, um, and I know this because when I got out the military, my my face cleared up like i stopped having the anxiety like my face cleared up like everything was all good so if you're stuck working somewhere you don't want to be find another job get out um don't do that like i said now i work from home i'm so grateful for my online business um where i don't have to be around people who who are mean to me <laughs> 
<laughs> Seriously. Number two, relationships. I believe that, you know, relationships are meant to be mutually mutually benefiting and again if people are like using you or if they're not adding value i don't me personally i know some people may defer but um i don't really care what the relationship is so we can be family but if you're not a good person or you don't bring value into my life and you cause me stress or you know if i if you when you come around i feel unsettling you gotta go or at least just dis distance yourself from that person or those relationships because again if somebody stresses you out like i believe that all the people in your life should bring you joy and happiness and should bring being like you know be able to provide value to you and if they don't do that they need to go um so yeah so distance yourself get rid of them i mean there are billions of people in the world you i've found i've c cultivated relationships with friends from across the world who treat me and love me so much better than people who i was born in a family with so if people are going to call you stress cause you stress again stress shows up it can show up on your skin so get rid of those people um number three is home Y'all, get your space right. You got to get your space right. What I found is when I clean up and I keep my house and my room and my bathroom clean, my kitchen, like, I feel good. And when you feel good, it literally comes from the inside out. And also, when I say keep your, your, your space clean, you want to make sure you are changing out your rags and, and, your, and, your, um, and your bed in your bed pillow, in your pillow uh, cover, you want to make sure you're changing that stuff out regularly. Make sure you're being clean because that stuff does transfer onto your face. So the cleaner that your space is, I definitely believe um, you will have a clearer mind and a clearer mind, you it shows up on your skin as well. Like if you, if you are mentally and emotionally balanced, it shows. And I feel like for me, having um being like emotional emotionally happy and emotionally balanced and more at peace and just free um my skin has definitely cleaned up i mean cleared up so um as and so as cleaning out your especially like oh i don't have time like just do 10 20 minutes a day like clean up like between different activities um schedule a day for for a chore like just figure it out y'all when it so again emotional and mental health those three things like clearing clearing out your workspace if you are stressful at work find a new job <laughs> i know it sounds dramatic but i'm telling you that helped with my mental and my emotional so much relationships i don't argue with nobody i ain't got time for them um you know and like i said if they don't benefit me it's okay I, my people your tribe you will attract your tribe as you let people go and um your home you got to keep your home free and clear because y'all those three things i definitely believe contribute to stress so if you're around like a toxic environment and your environment is just not right stress will kill people like stress is like the number one killer um in the world so everyone does i believe everybody deserves happiness and peace and a stress free free life so definitely go ahead and work on your mental and your emotional um well-being number two y'all already know this one um to help you get to um glowing skin this one is so basic so i'm gonna breeze through this one hydration and nutrition like y'all your body is it's your temple like it's kind of like let me think if you if you're because i feel like i'm just i'm gonna use it so if you have a really nice car i'm gonna say i don't know a Rolls Royce, lamborghini you cannot put 87 gas in that car like you have to put a higher grade car because it requires it's a premium car so you need to put a higher grade of um of gas so Food, nutrition is is our fuel. Like, so I'm not gonna talk about any specific diets, but y'all already know. Just Google a well balanced diet. I would just say we all know what to eat. We all know what to eat. So just do it. Number number one is your fluid intake. Y'all drink your water. Get your water in. I will say there are foods that have um 
that has that has water in it as well so just if you're like man i don't like water i mean get creative put lime in there drink hot lime water um but definitely definitely increase your fluid intake i mean I'm not 100% at it, but I try to do, I think it's like your ounces in, um, your, your pounds in ounces. So if you are 175 pounds, do 175 ounces. I don't really know how many cups and whatever that is, but just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just schedule it and get it done. Another thing that I did, I personally did, um, I did Rishi tea, Rishi hot chocolate, and of course, uh oh, Rishi coffee. Like, this is what I did every single day. Um, and I switch it up. I love the fact that I have access to quality Rishi Ganoderma. Um, I can give you, um, like a link if you care to like know more what Rishi is. But I think it's very important to make sure you are getting as much nutrition in as possible. Like, you need there are certain things vitamins minerals that you need um that you need in order to survive like if you are not giving your body enough protein your body is going to be craving for protein and it and it can reflect on your on your skin so make sure you are um increasing your fluid intake and again like i said not only did i do water i did rishi infused tea coffee and hot chocolate that's what i did and number two would be nutrient dense food again google it i mean just google a well balanced healthier diet everybody you know you can you don't have to be i don't believe you have to do what everybody has to do you have to do what works for you um so i mean me i am pri i'm pri um predominantly vegetarian that's my diet but do whatever you love to do just google i mean people doing keto people doing all kind of things so just do what you love to do another thing that i um incorporate in my diet was the nutritional shakes i did these i do these every single day sometimes i'll skip a day sometimes i do one a day two a day but the thing i love about these nutrition shakes is that it literally has 23 nutrients it has protein it has fiber it literally has everything like even biotin so that's why i love these protein shakes yes i use it for weight management but i also use it for just because like sometimes if I know I'm like okay I'm probably not going to eat that well or if I just want something quick like I love this so this is kind of like my go-to um but I love that it has literally like iodine zinc it has all the nutrition that you need in a meal so that's what I did another thing is going back to the reishi mushroom I take all three parts of the reishi mushroom the uh, and again, I can send you an article, a free article on this, but pretty much the Rishi mushroom is three parts. There's the body of the mushroom. Um, there's the, um, and, it, and pretty much Rishi, to put it in like easy terms, it's an adaptogen. It makes the body work the way it's supposed to work. So it balances the body and it gives the body proper nutrition. It supports the immune system. That's what Rishi does. That's why I take it. It has all the nutrients I need. Um, but there's three parts. There's the spores. Well, there's the Ganoderma, which is the body of the mushroom. And pretty much, um, again, it makes the body work the way it's supposed to work. It, um, it balances, um, it balances everything out. It's an adaptogen. The spores is 80 times. So it does everything the body of it does, but it's 80 times stronger than the, than the Ganoderma. And then the mycelium is brain focused. So it helps with, um, anxiety uh helps with mental clarity focus and all that good stuff if you want more of that i can share about that but again the most important too for number two is hydration and nutrition y'all just do it eat right drink right and again it will show up in your skin you your skin your body is like um i want to say 75 percent water i think 75 percent water or something like it's, it's a it's mostly made of water and so you want to make sure you are filling it up because you're like losing skin cells and, and stuff every single day number three what i did was a skincare routine hey david you want to make sure you are for me i'm not i'm learning to become more into skincare like i love having clear skin it makes me feel great and amazing so 
you want to make sure if you're not, it depends on where you are. There are people who love skincare and makeup and all that. But then there's other people who like, I don't know, it's too much. Like for me, when I started learning about skincare, like I would get overwhelmed because I'm like, this is just too much. It sounds crazy. So what I personally did, I'm so blessed that um, I'm partnered with like a, a skincare line where everything is natural and it's so simple literally it's three easy steps so make sure and i'll just tell you like the basics that you need the essentials that you need in the skincare routine number one a cleanser you need a cleanser you need something to remove the dirt the free radicals the old skin skin cells and i'm gonna show y'all what i use for my cleanser um, there's two options. You can either use the beauty bar soap. So if you like a little stronger or something that's really lathery, you can do the the the, the beauty bar soap. Or if you like a more of a gentle cleanse, this is what I did. You do not have to use what I did, but I'm telling y'all, I'm showing y'all so y'all know that, hey, I need a cleanser. So number step one, you need a cleanser. So I have two cleansers. I switch it up. Again, there's the beauty bar soap. It is more lathery. Or, um, you can do a gentle cleanser. I have this one too. I love both of them. Um, it just depends. Like if I feel like I've been out a lot, I like something that is a little bit more soapier. But if I'm just like around the house, I like, you know, like just something that's more creamy. So you, number one, you need a cleanser to remove everything. Number two is a serum. You want to make sure you are putting a nice serum to keep your face um, moisturized and hydrated. Um, I use a jojoba serum. You do not have to do what I do, but this is what I use. Um, and actually... I want to tell y'all why you go, boy. Um, pretty much, yeah, it's just a great, great moisturizer and it restores the skin after cleansing. That's why you want to use a serum. And then number three, um, I so number three, it just, because this is my simple skincare routine, I just do three things. I don't need to think or like wonder. So if, if depending on what I eat, and I'm going to be real with y'all, if I eat something like, um, if I eat like certain dairy products, um, I can see it on my face. <laughs> so, um, if I feel like I've like ate too much dairy or something like that, I will use a mask. Um, so step three is going to be moisturized. So you want to every day, y'all, every single day, um, I'll talk about the moisture, the moisturize. You want to make sure after you clean your, um, face and after you put your serum on, you want to moisturize, you want to keep your skin. Again, you don't want no ashy face, y'all. You don't want to, especially in the winter, you need to double up in the winter because the air is already dry. There's like not much water in the air. Or maybe I'm saying that backwards, but you want to make sure you're adding moisture to your skin. So this is the B, uh, this is the moisturizer that I use. And whenever I'm not using the moisturizer, so again, I only do three steps, whether it's day or not, I only do three steps. So either this is my third step or the mask. So if my skin is beginning to break out because I ate something bad, I'll do the cleanser, the serum, then this. Or if I'm like, okay, most days I'll do the cleanser, the serum, and then the moisturizer. So that's why I like my skincare um, routine because it's one two three it's easy and it's so clean like the quality of these ingredients like literally let me tell y'all like so for the cleanser an example it is it, manuka honey jojoba oil castor oil avocado oil aloe vera juice um vitamin b3 vitamin e essential oils and rose rose oil um the jojoba oil it is so clean y'all jojoba oil pomegranate oil argan oil um sugar beet extract olive esters um rose oil very clean like i love the fact that with and pretty much all the ingredients a lot for my mask bee venom um manuka honey um jojoba oil shea butter like literally it's the same thing it's just how they combine it i don't know how they do it it's amazing i love that it's so clean like it's sulfate free paraben free i will say um i used to go to the dermatologist um because my skin was so bad like um i'm pretty sure it's on my story i mean in my highlights but if not then i'll put it in there but my skin used to be so bad i would go to the dermatologist and like like my they they would try to give me stuff and my skin would be like burning like burning i would be like felt like it was on fire and it would be like peeling like i really thought that my face would like split like it was just so bad um 
and it didn't work <laughs> like they gave me so many prescription medications it was even where they wanted to put me on that pill but i didn't want to take that pill uh, if you know what the name of that pill was but it's like the last resort like when your skin is that bad like literally that was my skin but i chose not to do that because they were like oh you know if you get pregnant then your baby gonna come out deformed and granted i wasn't trying to get pregnant but i'm like hmm what are the long-term effects of that i'm that person so like i just the my experience with the dermatologist I, it was not good because they would literally just give me stuff and it would make my skin so much worse and it n nothing helped i did exactly what they told me to do but i would like burn up and like my skin would just it was just bad but i love my skincare routine because um it literally is all natural it makes my skin feels hydrated and amazing and clean and fresh like i feel like i'm glowing <laughs> right now <laughs> so number three you need a skincare routine and again my simple steps you need a cleanser you need a serum and you need um a moisturizer and a mask you definitely need a mask especially if you have a lot of heavy problems but um you don't you don't do the moisturizer and the mask every single day but four simple and four simple steps in your um routine self-care is i mean self-love is self-care so i believe that excuse me y'all know why i'm so burpy i believe that um taking care of yourself is not an option like another thing that i learned is that your your skin is like um it's 10 years behind so what you what you do today or now will show up 10 years later when it comes to your skin so everyone needs a skincare routine you need to take care of your skin you need to do the things because it's going to show up on your skin 10 years later so you, again you do not have to do exactly what i do or you don't have to use exactly what i use but if you want to kind of know more about Ganoderma, or if you want to know more about the bu skincare line I can definitely send you a free article about it and just just come an article in the comments and I would definitely get that to you and it's for free just so you can kind of have that information y'all resources uh knowledge as well <laughs> applied knowledge as well um so yeah um I think it's important I wanted to kind of share these three um keys to glowing skin because I think it's important to love the skin that you're in i definitely have like i said i felt there were times where i felt like i did not want to show my face i was just not happy with my skin because i would just get breakouts all the time but these are the three like things that helped me um on my journey to healing skin right because again i'm still in the process of um healing my skin but for the people who um who are who kind of want to know more about my skincare line um my company we have a lot of great deals going on right now with the holiday season like if you get the full set um you can um get like an extra mask um and a whole bunch of free gifts anytime you you're like hey you know I'm, i want to try it we have 25 day trials for like the coffee teas the hot chocolate um you can always get 20 even if it's not in the holiday season you can always get 25 percent off or 40% off depending on your membership. Um, but right now, if you do want to try the skincare, um, you can get um nine you can you can get a gift, a free gift on your order. So yeah, so again, this is just a little bit of clarity on how how I got Chloe glowing skin because i think it's important for every person to feel confident to be proud of who they are and just feel like yourself like to literally just feel like yourself like be you y'all um and radiant and beautiful i think it's important and these are the three three of the steps that help me if you have any questions if you want those free articles drop articles in the um in the comments um and yeah if you have any questions definitely let me know uh, if you want to know more about the skincare line that I use, drop skincare in the comments. Or, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Just share. If you know somebody who is having issues, to just sit and talk to them. Because if they have targeted issues, I can definitely help them. Um, even, when, even if it's 20% off. So, without further ado, um, I will talk to y'all later. Hope you have a beautiful night. And get your skin glowing, honey. Have a good night.